Man, 2024, brand new year, new same podcast, eight talks of life podcast, baby. Yeah. Man, we out here, change of scenery. I know we have a lot of cameras going, a lot of people out here, but. We are blessed enough to be at, look at this, look at this, Death Row Records. <laughs> we in the building, baby. Let's make some noise. Let's go. Close to life. Yes, sir. Again, new year. Hopefully, everybody's settling in, having a good moment, having a, a good year so far, seven days. I know it's a lot. Maybe it feels like a little bit, but it's a lot. But, man, I'm blessed to be sitting next to one of the first Mexican, Latino, mariachi. Oh, my God. Everything signed to Death Row Records. Mr. Julian in the house, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Man, if if you don't remember Julian, this guy sings at Dodger Stadium, sang at Dodger Stadium, and one of the most infamous videos that went out, unfortunately, when the late, great Kobe, Kobe Bryant passed away. He sang one of the most amazing songs, Amor Interno, in there. But Mr. Julian in the house, baby, let's go. Man, we're we right down the street from your where you grew up, Miss Hawthorne, California. Miss yes, Hawthorne, California, South Bay kid. Claro que sí, nacido en Hawthorne, California. De padres mexicanos. De, de donde? De Zacatecas y de Jalisco. Amono recio. <laughs> So, tequilero, no tequilero, agua, ¿qué no, prefieres? No, tequila, claro que sí. Oh, man. Paradeamos el tequila. No, pero muchas gracias. Thank you so much for giving us your time. You're a busy man. You're in, not even prime just yet, but you're living life. You're doing so much. You have your EP out. You're singing. You're getting invited. We are in your house right now. Sí. We're in Death Row Records. Death Row Records. Casita. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, como te estaba diciendo, I was telling you right before this that this has, if you're from my era, I'm 28, relax people, I know, I know. <laughs> um, but Death Row Records, Snoop Dogg, legendary. We know the music, we know the genre, we know the era. And to be signed, this started off right away, to be signed to Death Row Records. What's the feeling? I feel so blessed, um, so blessed to be here with you in this new year, 2024, mm -hmm. a toast to life. Gracias por la invitación. And uh, gracias, Luis, por, por esta oportunidad. I feel so blessed to be signed to such a legendary uh, label yeah. under a legendary global universal artist, which is el gran señor. Yo, yo le llamo padrino. Muchos dicen unk snoop, pero <laughs> I could say padrino snoop. El Snoop Dogg. Man. Y este, no, pues es, I feel, a, a veces ni me la creo todavía, pero aquí estamos echándole ganas. Before we get into the whole theme, antes de entrar a tu historia, de, desde pequeño hasta ahorita, la primera palabra con Snoop, ¿cómo, cómo fue? ¿Cómo es? Uh, through FaceTime. You know, we were in the studio and uh, our the producer, Fred Reck, yeah. was there with me and he was talking to him and um, and then he looked to the side and he was like, hey, is that Julian? And I was, you know, doing my thing, writing some music and turned around and I'm like, Julian, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> so I turned around and I was like, yeah, is that Julian? I'm like, hey, sir, how are you? Come on down. I was like, hey, how, how are you, sir? I'm like, I'm ready for you. I'm ready. We're, you know, we're ready to go. So, yeah, that's what I like. And just a, a great energy. Yeah. You know, it's just a, such a small uh, conversation, but it felt really nice to and, be. And the way appreciated. this came about for the people that don't know is you went to the memorial at Crypto Arena that is now with the mariachi. Yeah, I call it Staples still. <laughs> I don't no, know why, but no. I, I always call it Staples. For the people that grew up, Staples Center, it's going to be, it's always going to be, no va a cambiar de ahí. Yeah. Anybody that says otherwise. I'm not going to fight you. I don't know about Julian, but <laughs> someone will. But you went with the with your mariachi. Perfect song. Perfect yeah. song. 
it's one of the songs that I know my mom, I know, uh, shout out to my, to my team, but shout out Pepe. That's his mom's favorite song. Yeah. And it's something that hits very, very, very to the soul. Yes. Um, well, I was very fortunate enough to be uh, able to participate in our tribute to Kobe Bryant, Gigi, and ev everyone that was lost in the tragedy. Rest in peace. Um, but we, as a, as Los Angeles was grieving, and I think the whole world, um, I saw a couple of tributes. Uh, there was a tribute with the banda that was there. Yeah. And uh, I think the mariachi community was uh, also feeling the same and the same wavelength yeah. as Los Angeles because the way that we grieve and the grieving process is to sing, you know, to, sh to give what we love to do best. And um, luckily, uh, someone beat me to the punch and posted on social media we're meeting uh, down at Staple in front of Staple Center yeah. at this time. If you can make it, make it. We're just gonna go there and perform. Um, so we, I tell my wife, I'm like, Chula, me voy porque este todos nos vamos a reunir a cantarle a Kobe Bryant y Gigi. So I drive down and it's packed. Yeah. Oh, oh man, I, I think uh, Los Angeles died for a moment just the way uh when nipsey hustle died you know so, that that was another day yeah. and obviously when kobe another one to my point is cuando ibas en camino le dijiste a tu esposa hey me voy que era el pensamiento yendo ir a, a esto lo que like obviamente sabiendo que era kobe bryant para la comunidad de los ángeles con ¿Qué mentalidad ibas tú? Bueno, la mentalidad era de a, a dar aliento, como, you know, I've, I've been a musician for most of my <laughs> life, and I've been to quite many, uh, uh, quite many uh, parties and events and, yeah. and funerals. Yeah. So um, I know that the best way to show, at least from my part, to show some love is through music. Your voice. And to help music. I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that music is healing to the soul. So I yep. think everyone in the mariachi community and everyone was just trying to find a way um, to just help the grieving process. Yeah. And to grieve, you know, oneself. Um, so I think the best way for me, and it, you know, cuando estoy alegre me pongo a cantar, cuando estoy triste me pongo a cantar, cuando alguien necesita alegría les voy a cantar. Yeah. O sea, siempre that's my form of showing my love. Oh, Entonces, man. I think the mariachi community getting together, and it wasn't just like, oh, let's go get publicity, lo que yeah. sea. No, it was just like, how can we help? How do we help? Yeah. How can we show our love? And our love was through music. So Damn. we we got there, and um, and <laughs> there was no parking. I remember <laughs> that it was packed, and I was like, "Okay, how can I do? This? Well, let's go valet to a hotel that was close by," and it was eighty bucks. I was like, "Okay, yeah." And, and okay. sin pensar, vámonos. You know, let's just let's get there. Once we get there, and I see my compañeros, and it was it's just surreal because you see Everybody. the huge picture of. Kobe and Gigi and everyone there and you know all these candles and flowers and the only time I've ever seen that aparte the Nipsey hustle is uh Princess Diana. Mm. All the flowers just every and when I you know I didn't personally know Princess Diana but yeah. it was just felt like wow she was an important person and um I think everyone in LA was feeling the loss is the loss of yeah. just a tragedy, you know, everyone that's there, but aparte one of our own and then Gigi being there. And then we're, we're just trying to show our love through music. So we get there and we say hi to everyone. And, and it was just like a weird hi. It was like, wow, we're here, yeah. you know? And once most of the mariachi musicians were there, all these cameras started appearing and we're like, Whoa, okay. What are we going to do? Okay. I get to tocar musica. Con cual comenzamos, and I turned to my compañero, digo, ¿cuál, cuál va a ser? Dice, pues hay que tocar la culebra para mamba. And we're playing it, ya terminamos. ¿Cuál sigue? Y calladito. O sea, it was, it was weird Everybody because people listening. were like, 
do we clap? Do we not clap? People crying, musicians crying. It's how you said the music started to heal and yeah. started to be a comfort for everybody losing a piece of them. And cuando se quedó callado, ¿qué, qué pasó por ahí? Pues, ¿cuál sigue? <laughs> ¿Cuál sigue? ¿Cuál tocamos? Um, and I can't remember what other song we played. And the one that um, buddy of mine, he's, he's like, pues hay que canta Amor Eterno. And I was like, no, well, you, you sing Amor Eterno. I, I, I didn't want to, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It, it just felt weird. It's like, well, okay, well, I'll sing the first part and then you sing the second part. Okay. Está bien. So we sing it. Ya tocamos otras dos canciones, Puyo de Tierra, y no me acuerdo qué otra canción. Then we finish, and everyone's like, Kobe, Kobe, G, 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 G. Ya. Terminamos, ya nos saludamos a todos. Ya nos fuimos uh, manejando. And a friend, friends that I, I was taking home, he's like, hey, there's a video. And it's I don't out. know, someone put a video in. And it's going viral. And I'm driving. I'm like, oh, okay. So, all right. Nothing of it. Once I get off, I park. And they, they're showing the video. And I've never seen a video like the numbers move like, in <laughs> real time. Like, Your phone don't stop firing. Like, I was like, oh, wow. And it wasn't our video. It was like on Twitter or something like that. Then ESPN put up a video. And, and, um, and it was just like, wow we were a part of uh of this moment, moment. and we're yeah. able to you know poner un granito yeah hacia, i don't know just showing our love to what had happened yeah mm -hmm. no okay and the story of empezar este podcast que obviamente lo lo quise platicar bien rápido y brevemente porque es es algo donde la ciudad de los ángeles Recuerda, reconoce y por vida van a re, van a vivir ese video. And you were a great part of that. You're a great part of the healing process for, for a lot of people and still are. But how we said right now, and your story of singing started way before. Long time ago. A little church boy. Pues estamos jóvenes. Estamos jóvenes. Con tu papá. Vienes de una familia que canta. Tu papá. Así es. <risas> y de lo que yo sé, lo, lo que me han platicado, es que can, empezaste a cantar en la iglesia. Uh -huh. Y por ahí que, antes de eso, ¿tú crees que la música te hizo ser más, I'm a butcher it in my Spanglish, but confident? Uh -huh. Did music, the singing get you confident? Or is it something where you're able to block a lot of things and just like, you know what, it's me, the moment, and that's it? You know what? Um, growing up, I I knew singing was part of my soul because my dad would always sing to my mom in, in the womb oh. when I, she was pregnant with me. Oh. So, cuando cantaba a la pancita mi mamá, siempre pataleaba. Cuando paraba, como que se quedaba, güey. Sigue cantando. Uh, mi padre es de Villanueva, Zacatecas. Híjole, mi madre es de Ameca, Jalisco. Vámonos. Y mi padre me cuenta cuando fuimos a Zacatecas. Mira, mi hijo, allá en, en las ruinas de la quemada. Mira, mi hijo. I feel like the, the Lion King. Like, you see mira, everything mira. that the sun touches, you know. And he's like, allá andaba yo a caballo cantando, arriando vacas y... Y todo el día des, desde las cuatro de la mañana y cantando. Y... So, those stories and coming from my dad and listening to my dad every day sing. Uh, canciones de Vicente Fernández, de Antonio Aguilar, de Miguel Acedo Mejía, José Alfredo Jiménez. The greats, Vamos right? Monos. Pedro Infante, yeah, yeah. Jorge Negrete. Um, I thought everyone sang. I thought music was in everyone's home. We tried. Especially <laughs> of, of, you know. Mariachi, música de mariachi, mariachi este, música tradicional. Sí. Este, entonces yo crecí y I, I didn't, I felt like it was just common, it was just natural to sing. Entonces de niño siempre me la pasaba cantando, escuchando Pedrito Fernández. ¿Qué te pasa, chiquillo? ¿Qué te pasa? Y you know, la mochila azul y yeah. este, todo cantando también. A, a, la mayoría música de mariachi. 
También teníamos a Luis Miguel, de menudo, teníamos nice. este, muchos cantantes así. Jeez. O sea, every, everything growing up, but yeah. just music. Um, I think that that's where the, the love for music came from, from my family. And aparte las tradiciones que me inculcaron mis padres. We would always go to Pico Rivera, Alienzo Charro, donde había charrería. Mi, vamos para allá. Vámonos. Cuando ve, quiero ir a ver, porque él también montaba caballo. Él también le encantaba el deporte mexicano, que es la charrería. Um, entonces, toda, todo eso uh, fue inspiración de mis padres, de mi padre, de mi madre, que siempre nos llevaban. ¿Cuál, eh, bien, antes de, de seguir a la siguiente etapa, ¿cuál canción de tu infancia es la que te, se te graba en, en tu mente que cantaba tu papá? Oh, wow. <risa> And if you could give us a little piece of it, because I... Sabes que siempre me, me, me gustaba de niño. Now you're, you're taking me down memory lane. Um, Woo. My dad. Yeah. Dang, man, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> este, de niño... Siempre vi a mi padre en escenarios porque siempre cantamos en kermeses, en festivales. Yo de niño, it's five years old, six years old. Ponte, ponte. And I always, no, ni ponen, yo quería mi traje de charro y vestir como él y cantar como él y cantar la música mexicana. Y este, siempre cuando yo me presentaba, cantaba Aires del Mayab o, o este, de un rancho a otro, cosas así. Pero my song, whenever I would see him, either on stage or at family, uh, mm -hmm. Reunions. Okay. Y había mariachi o había una guitarra. Era el jalisciense. A ver. El jalisciense. Con gusto vengo a cantarles este muy alegre son. Para quitar la tristeza y alegrar el corazón. No les vengo a presumir. Solo quiero demostrar que soy puro jalisciense. Amigo a carta cabal. Dicen que somos malditos. Eso no más por hablar. Somos hombres que cumplimos. No nos sabemos rajar. El que nacido en América. Orgulloso de estar como el que nació en tequila. Paladeando su mezcal. <risa> Oh. And I would love watching him because those is, is, bueno, lo que hace Vicente Fernández en paz sí. descanse. Pero esas cosas como bien bravillos y con ganas, como dice, con, eh, no se con puede lo, decir con todo, ¿verdad? Pues sí, pero, <risa> pero sabemos lo que es, ¿verdad? Sí, y me, siempre me encantaba escuchar. Es, es, es una de las voces número uno en, en mi mundo, en el universo para mí. Man, I'm not trying to be on the emotional side on the 2024, <laughs> but... Uh, no, it's good. It, it, it's, it's um, good. creo que esa canción y el, el impacto que tenía tu padre en tu vida es algo grande. Yeah. You can't forget it. It's engraved. It's something that I feel like you, when you sing, you're singing a part of your dad in there. Oh, yeah. It's in that voice. See. Sí. Your dad gave you the voice and you continued. Mm -hmm. And... You're not here by luck. Let's be quite honest. It's not luck. <laughs> no, there's it, a lot it, of luck. <laughs> no, I, I, I think my team, my team and myself, we, we realize that there's, there's a lot of parts to everything that happens in life. And when an opportunity happens, you have to show up and show out. You have to be ready for it. You have to be able to withstand the blessing that God gives you from above. Mm -hmm. And just seeing your expression of mentioning your dad, singing this song, It's, it's something that, man, I wish everybody watching is here to, <laughs> to, to feel this. But were you a, always a confident person or is it a switch that happens? Bueno, creo que era un niño inquieto. <laughs> no todos. Es, este, bueno, mi madre, gracias a mi madre, she was and has always been the person, si sí puedes, mijo, tú si sí puedes. Mm. Tú échale ganas y... Y trabaja, you know, do, put in the work. You know, it's not, como tú dices, yes, there is, I feel like there is luck, but you have to put in the work. You have to 
go and chase that dream Facts. and go for it. And tú puedes. Maybe not on the first try. Maybe not on the 10th time. Maybe not on the 10,000th time. But if you work towards it, you're going to get there. And y no te me rajes porque eres de Jalisco. <laughs> Vienes de padre de Zacatecas. No se me raje y échale ganas. So it's, it's, um, it's very important. I feel the very blessed to have amazing parents and to have been born into an amazing family. Um, gracias Dios mío por eso. And that has truly um, influenced on who I am, how I am as a person. Um, pero también uh, mi padre quería que yo naciera, que nas todos sus hijos nacieran en México. No, 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 es que si no, no, no van a ser mexicanos. <laughs> No, si no nacen, no, they're not going to be full, pure blood Mexicans. They're going to have the, the cicatriz. I know, the there. cicatriz and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Pero mi, mi madre siempre decía, no, sí, sí, no te preocupes. Es que no les va a gustar nuestra música. Es que lo ya no van a querer esto. Van a hablar puro inglés y todo. He was so concerned about that. And my mother um, was like, no, he's, he's, they're going to speak Spanish. And they're going to know about their traditions. And they're going to know about... Mexico and they are gonna enjoy it. they're gonna love yeah. where they come from but that's that's our job yeah as parents Then inculcarles lo mejor que uno pueda verdad and I owe obviously my life to them for that what was the the biggest lesson that they taught you that now you may understand or now you understand now de que si se puede de que sí se puede. Um, there, before everything happened, I've always been blessed. I have always been lucky. Yeah. And I've always been blessed with so many opportunities. And But before uh, this huge blessing coming into my life, I was just grinding. Yeah. It could be it's like grinding. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I told my wife, I'm like, chula. I mean, I'm happy, gracias Dios mío, por todo lo que hemos logrado. But I, am, did I just plateau? Like, mm. that's it. Like, okay, I estoy, you know, sending out emails to performances, to festivals, to casinos. And, and you know, most of the time it's just crickets. <laughs> you may not get a response back. <laughs> most of the time, if you're lucky, you get a, oh, no, thank you. Not today. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. And if you're really, really lucky, then you get a chance, right? That's a sliver a of a bit. chance um but i was keep on he's like no no it's, you know we're just keep on doing what you're doing you're yeah, doing great have to. you know go for it y también mis papás no no te rajes hijo estamos orgullosos de ti tú échale ganas and I, i'm like okay i need i need to start uh, producing my own my own album so i i went in you know going to gigs my own gigs getting the money going into a studio oh. paying for studio time yeah ¿Sabes qué? Hasta aquí se me terminó el dinero. Hasta ahí le paramos. Vamos a trabajar. Hay que hacer más gigs, working with other mariachis, having my own gigs. Ya, ya saqué poquito más to pay my stuff and then poquito más to put in a little bit of more time. And that was happening. I was like, oh, man. Okay, I'm taking my time. Y luego sucede el, el you know, we start, Uh, talking about Kobe Bryant's the anniversary, three years later, and I'm I'm on the fence. I'm posting this video again because now it's on my page. Yeah, and I have the video, the SPM video, and I'm like, I'm gonna, just gonna repost it. And I put, you know, it's que no tomó all the credits and everything. And right away, me llama Fred Rec. No me llama, pero me mando un mensaje. Fred Rec. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? Who is he? <laughs> so then I go into his page and I'm like, is this for real? Like, and I see pictures with him and, and Dr. Dre, Eminem, Wiz Khalifa, Snoop Dogg, Britney Spears, you know, Paul McCartney. Just all, I'm like, hey, is this Photoshop? Is it a spam? Is it a spam? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I heard. Uh, I'm so happy. I'm so glad I found you. I finally found you. Mm. Así, así me mandó yeah. el mensaje. And I was like, oh, okay. He said, yeah, I saw you at, at, um, at the Kobe Bryant thing. And um, 
and I want to record you. And he's like, oh, okay. What do you want to record? Like, amor eterno. Okay, pero, you know, how much is this going to cost me? <laughs> Since I was going into the studio, I was like, man, that studio time, ya estaba, you know, echándole ahí las cuentas. No, no, just, I want to record you. I have a studio here at Snoop Dogg's. I was like, what? This is weird. <laughs> this is a scam. This is definitely a scam, you know. <laughs> so then ya me, le puse bravo, ya me le puse bravo, and then I was like, well, how much are you going to pay me? <laughs> He's like, I'm going to pay you anything. I just want to record you. And I was like, okay, pues... Pues cuando, yeah, you know, we got together and, and I called some musicians that were available for that day. And uh, and it was real. And Did, I, and, that day that you sang that song in the studio, three years later after the initial post, was there a different sentiment to that song? Or what was your mindset going in there? Pues mira, es que Amor Eterno es una canción. I mean, that's Juan Gabriel. Yeah. That's... Everyone knows that song. Yeah, I've played it for. Yeah. If I've sang that song, I could see say easily twenty thousand times more than that. Twenty twenty thousand plus yeah. because everywhere you go, they ask for that song. Such an iconic song. Rocio Durcal, you know, version is an amazing version. I'm a pla you know. Este, Bellas Artes. Sí. El video que ven ahí está cantando Amor Eterno. Juan Gabriel. It's 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 such an iconic song that you don't want to mess with it. Like <laughs> yeah. you sing it because you know people ask for it. But he, you know he gave me some confidence. Like no, I love your your version of it. That night I was there. I was there and I heard. I was like, what? You were there. Later on, I found out he was there that night. Frederick, yeah. the producer of of this album, yes. the producer, an amazing producer este he was like no i love your version and and i want to record your version and i love rocio durcal's version and i was like wow this Whoa. guy knows about rocio durcal like yeah that's huge like but you know juan gabriel right he's like yeah i heard it but i really love rocio durcal's and then you just elevated it i was like wow, How, wow. wait so if, I, i mean people don't if They're too lazy because our generation is too lazy to go back in. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to go back and to search for all these videos. Mm -hmm. So how did, what's your version of it? Like a piece of it, if you can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, es que hay una parte que dice, ahí le cambié un, una, una letra porque sí. por el momento. El más este recuerdo de Acapulco. ¿Verdad? That's yeah. the original. Y pues, por el momento y por lo que sucedió en el video dice el más triste recuerdo de este mundo como quisiera que tú vivieras que tus ojitos jamás se hubieran cerrado nunca ni estar mirándonos and then I get everyone to sing and <laughs> Y todos estábamos ahí. Yeah. Amor eterno, <laughs> inolvidable, tarde o temprano estaré contigo para seguir amándonos. Yeah. <laughs> Getting our own private concert, guys. Yeah. Relax, relax. <laughs> sí. No, it's an iconic song. It's something that... Again, it's healing. I mean, we've all lost people. If anybody listening, we've all lost people in our life. Hemos perdido padres, abuelitos, abuelitas, amigos. Y es una canción que va a vivir para siempre. Es una canción, es un género que vive para siempre. Es clásico. Yeah. Yeah, it's, just, it's the classics, you know. It's just not stop there. <laughs> you sang there, pero you also sang at Dodger Stadium. <laughs> it's a it's their video okay and these are videos that when you look at your instagram page mira at, at tu pagina ahí están boom son their their moments que nunca vamos a recordar para siempre not just us but you and according to my calculations <laughs> cuando contaste el himno nacional de México y los Estados Unidos you had your two amazing Tesoros in in house. 
Yes. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like I said I've been I've been blessed and um I was part of I've been singing at Dodger Stadium and I call it home now. Yep. You know, I I'm, I'm not they said, "Are you the official singer?" Like, "Are all oh, the official singer?" I I'm I haven't given that plaque yet. <laughs> but we're going to. I'm putting it out in the universe yep, manifesting it. You have to it. manifest it. Este pero I've been invited several times to sing as a special guest at Dodger Stadium. Love it. Uh, con mi mariachi. And, um, Shout out to your mariachi. Sí, mariachi sensontle. Yeah. Uh, y también con otros mariachis que han tenido ahí. Uh, pero como artista, como cantante, solista, Julián Torres he estado cantando en, at Dodger Stadium. And like you said, it's an amazing feeling to not only sing at Dodger Stadium, but to be part of so many historic moments at Dodger Stadium. All-Star. <laughs> the All-Star <laughs> Games, the Celebrity All-Star uh, Game. And that's, I sing the National Anthem both times. Uh, Herencia is the Heritage, Heritage, Heritage Night. Night at um, Dodger Stadium, Mexican Heritage Night. And what you were talking about is I had my parents there. Now, what a lot of people don't know, or if you already gone into my site, you already know, is that um, as a kid, um, we were a low income family and we were part of this program called WIC. Um, kids, uh, the WIC program is yeah. called the Women's and Infant and Children yeah. program that helps out low income families. And we were part of. Uh, that program and they put our names into a raffle to win uh, for a chance to win to th th throw the first pitch at Dodger Stadium. Wow. And my family won. <laughs> so we were invited to Dodger Stadium and mi hermanita estaba at home played and I was at, uh, you know, on the mound with my mom. Y aviento la pelota and I turned around to my mom like, Man, este, algún día yo voy a cantar aquí. As a kid. And I was already singing him at, at my house with my records, Everywhere. you know, yeah. and just um, imagining just singing to huge crowds as a kid. Pero le dije eso a mi mamá. Y mi mamá sí, sí, mijo, aquí vas a cantar un día. So fast forward, and they invite me to sing at Heritage, Mexican Heritage Night. Wow. And I'm singing both uh Mexican national anthem and American national anthem y le digo a mis papás pa este los quiero invitar esta noche porque voy a cantar oh qué bueno hijo donde compro los boletos and you know they were they wanted to make a whole <laughs> yeah, night of it they have to and they said no pa pues you I got your tickets don't worry about it yeah. and uh, they gave me tickets so that they see like the amazing tickets shout out to the Dodgers uh for that and um so we're there and le dije a mi esposa I'm like because you know they're older si se emocionan tanto I don't want anything to get them you know que se emocionen tanto que se enferman o algo so I call them and I'm like ma pues les quería decir que que pues voy a cantar el himno nacional mexicano y americano at Dodger Stadium que I'm like yeah and I'm like te acuerdas que te dije que voy a cantar aquí and I was like si sí. No, pues nos pusimos a llorar, mis padres <laughs> y yo. So then we're there and just knowing. Yo soy bien chillón. Let's, let's, put, let's put that out there. <laughs> soy bien chillón. Y el saber que mis padres estaban ahí y el saber que les iba a brindar este canto en vida y esa meta que un niñito le dijo a mi mamá y mi mamá dijo, sí, it's going to happen. And they're there, and they're witnessing it. Yeah. Oh, I I couldn't think about it because you know me ponía llorar. So I I perform, and I, my sister went as well, and she recorded my my yeah, parents, parents, you know, from the sides, sin que yo sepan. Y este, and my mom is like, "Ese es mi hijo," and everything. And I'm watching this, and I'm already crying, like with that. Ese es mi hijo. Ese es mi hijo. Échale. Y estoy cantando Viva México, Viva México. And my dad is to the side. And I've only seen him cry four times in my life. Four times. Oh, man. And one of those times was that video. 
No, pues I lost it. <laughs> I was crying and mi pai llorando and, and my dad is my dad had an opportunity to become a singer, mariachi singer. He had an opportunity. And se iba a los este, ¿cómo se dice? Los aficionados. I don't know if you guys are aficionados are like singing contests yeah. at clubs, nightclubs and everything. And he would win a bottle. He would win like a, some boots. Yeah. He would like a seat. He would always win. So one night, I guess it was the finalist night and, and he won the opportunity to record an album wow. and, you know, studio time and everything. And um, so he was excited about that. My mom was excited. And he le dijo, okay, Conrado, Conrado este... Si trabajamos, yo, you know, we could do this together. But that big family that we were talking about, you know, we have, you know, it has to be smaller because, you know, it is. It, there's a lot of sacrifice. There's yeah. a lot of investment in to becoming a singing artist and everything. And yeah. and um, so I, you know, I just don't want, you know, I, I feel like we it'll be easier for us if it's a smaller family. So it's family or your dream or, or the, you know, the record. Y mi papá, pues siendo tradicional, you know, the 12 people, 12 kids in the family. Este, what? The, <laughs> 12, bueno, what? back in the day, ¿verdad? <laughs> Entonces <laughs> dijo, no, pues family. He chose family. Hey. And that's why we're here. And Entonces también Oh. Regalarle eso, I think uh, one of my whys, aparte that I love to do what I do, pero that I, I grind and I work hard is, is para mi pa, mm. to show him, mira, we're here together. We're in this. And because of you, I'm here and this is ours. Esto, es, esto I, aquí vamos, you know, I, yeah. your dream isn't wasn't in vain you know to stop yeah. it aquí estamos nosotros y, and that's that's one of my that's the why that's my one of my reasons and <laughs> my <laughs> so my my parents always grill me on that like hijo no andes trabajando tanto <laughs> it's to take vacations you know relax you know it, it it's you need your you yeah. time and, and i'm like pa mira déjame decirte mi padre siempre ha trabajado dos trabajos o tres trabajos all the time. Yeah. My mom has always worked two, two jobs or three. And, y son trabajadores. And they're like, go, 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 go. Yeah. On vacations, we're like, oh, vamos acá con tu tío. Vamos acá con tu tío. I'm like, how could you ask me that you, I am your son to tone it down if you, you, you maybe. You don't tone it down, yeah. You know, we're, we push, you know. Yeah. <laughs> These, Sorry, now, now I'm going on no, 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 another you're place. No, no, definitely. They say, me, no, the Mexican power, ¿verdad, hijo? I'm like, yeah, pues, yeah, we're, you know, it, we, we keep it, on going. Es el latino, es, el, es las ganas de, de vivir. Y de superar. De superar. Eso creo que, hablando en ese tema de los, de los padres, nuestras mamás, que son más fuertes que uno se imagina. Oh. Es, uh, nuestras madres son las que... They put up with everything. The kids, the husband, the problems. They put everything and they hold it all together with themselves. Mm -hmm. And they won't let us feel one thing. We'll feel it for a little bit and no, mijo, I got this. Mm -hmm. Nuestros padres son iguales, pero en, en otra forma de, de amor. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo te van a enseñar el amor? Pues vas a tener hogar, comida, mm -hmm. donde dormir. Yeah. Y a lo mejor no estoy tanto pero tú vas a tener la oportunidad. Yeah. I think that quote that um, my, my parents walked so I can sprint, mm. right? So uh, I think it, the whole quote goes, my grandparents uh, crawled so my dad can walk, my dad walked so I can run, and then the whole cycle starts once again mm -hmm. because now I'm a dad, and that's the same, like, mi papá me enseñó a chingarle. Oh, oh. Día tras día tras día. One job. One, one job's not enough. Let's go second one. <laughs> Two jobs. Oh, you mean to tell me I got four hours? In, I got four hours in a day. I got to go for another one. Yeah. There's always time. But always. And I think that's so beautiful that 
tú sabes y reconoces que tu padre tuvo una oportunidad de seguir una carrera mm. y dijo, no, la carrera es mi familia. Mi familia. So that's, that's a why. Like, that's, that's so, Ooh. you have a chip on your shoulder that not a lot of people, a lot of people may have, and I'm glad that now we say it, and now people get to relate to it. Be like, man, I know what that feels like. Porque la vida de cantante, la carrera de cantante, piensa que uno nomás agarra el micrófono, va al, a la fiesta, agarran sus millones y vámonos. <laughs> Record label coming later on, day by day, but it's not that. It's not that. And I, wanted, I do want to highlight that you have this career of singing, but you're also a person that has such a kind heart and you're a teacher. <laughs> and you help you help a, a a special group of kids and it, really quick just take us through that why how did this get started outside of mariachi well i first of all i come from from my well, from both sides but mainly from my mom's side i come from a family of educators de lo mío más son este maestros en méxico en guadalajara mm. este yeah and my mom very motivational, very también uh, maestra. Her, her dream was to be a teacher and um, in Mexico. And due to having, I think, <laughs> 11 other siblings, uh, that, that was put on halt. And she was the oldest, the eldest of, of yeah. 12. Entonces, siempre education has been in, in her, her heart. So what came about, I'm... I'm a special ed paraprofessional for LAUSD for the past 18 years. Yep, Yay. that's huge. That's huge, <laughs> yep. So um, music education has always been a part of me. Uh, I've always had, you know, students, both for vocal lessons and trumpet lessons. I'm also a musician playing trumpet. Uh, but one day my mom uh, called me up. He's like, where are you going? Are, are you working during the week? I'm like, no, I just do music. And, you know, I had a, a driving as a driver for a Reaper Graphics company out, out in, in the valley. And are you working? I'm, like, well, I'm doing that. He's like, oye, no quieres trabajar en la escuela? Because she, she was a, a special ed uh, paraprofessional herself. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to. He's like, no, I, I think you have the patience for it. I'm like, yeah, ma, but I teach music, and my students want to learn music. They will come to me to learn music. In school, you have to go. Yeah, It's a, your education. It's I have to and I want to. Yeah, and two different so things. it's different. I, I, don't, I don't think, you know, it's for me. He's like, no, I, I think you should try it out. I think you should try it, at least for the benefits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then I start the first year, and um, and then fast forward to 18 years, 19 years of being uh, uh, helping out, being a teacher's assistant. Um, I've done everything from pre-K all the way to fifth grade. Wow. Um, all through the spectrum. Uh, I Instead of them, me teaching them, they've taught me. Oh. Okay, it, elaborate on this because so that's, that's huge. It's, it's, it is huge because yo soy muy estricto. I'm very strict and in with my music uh, students, you know, we're studying, we're learning this. If I see that you're not interested, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. Yeah. So, I muere. Gracias. Now, at school, I use that yeah. <laughs> and it, it wasn't Can, the the best way to <laughs> to um you know it maneuver. wasn't the best route yeah, yeah yeah so I got all these trainings and I learned a lot of psychology uh, with students and I learned a lot of different ways um, that uh, fortunate to us and to them it's not them it's the disability you know. The reason why um, everyone is different in their learning, as myself, um, it's because you have to find your way of learning. Yeah. Entonces, everyone's different in how they learn. And that's what they taught me is that, okay, no, you can't 
teach me this way because, you know, I learned a different way. So I learned, it, it, I think music helped me because in music you improvise a lot. Mm. So then I improvise a lot of ways into teaching and helping them um, get to their goals. Yeah. So that helped me in having more patience in life oh. in general con todos. Entonces, um, I learned a lot of skills and they taught me uh, empathy and they taught me patience yeah. and they taught me love. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I can totally relate to you because at the same time where I coach high school, but mm -hmm. I coach sports. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like you. I'm hard headed. It's my way or the highway. You don't like it? Better. See, <laughs> you don't like it? Go find a different route. Yeah. I'm here because I want to help and teach. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like I, I coach girls. They're like, before I had my daughter, they were my kids. They were my daughters. So yeah. I'm like, I got to teach you guys how to carry yourself. You know, when to not beg anybody. Like, they go through relationships, parents, stuff. I'm like, yo, here in this field, nothing matters. Just like music. When you're in the studio and I'm singing, nothing else matters, mm -hmm. right? Same when we're podcasting, same when I'm with my friends in certain areas. At this very moment right now, nothing in this world matters. Mm -hmm. It's only me and whoever's in this room and whoever's in this field, and that's all I care about. Mm -hmm. Outside, it is what it is. I can't control it. I got it. I they depend on me to have them learn a certain way, a certain mindset, certain skill. And if I'm not present, 100 percent, se cae, todo. See, I, he, you know, they are our future. Yeah, they are our future. So it it's a big responsibility to teach them, give them the best that we have, our tools. Yeah, so that they could succeed. In their future. Yeah. Not necessarily music, like, but it, like anything, the todo, you know. Yeah. And and I've been, that's another blessing because I've, I've learned so much um, through the education, through being at LA USD, just everything, you know. And uh, it, it's a blessing as well. And, and, I mean, you've been throwing a little bit of hints there with your wife. <laughs> How long you've been married? When? How'd you meet your wife? Kind of give us a brief little story on that, because <laughs> estoy recordando mi chula, mi chula. I'm like, okay, his wife is a big part. Yes. And you can and behind every amazing man, there's a stronger woman. Sí, claro. She well, she's next to me. <laughs> yeah. Most of there the time. Is. Yep. That behind, next to me, in front of. Um, she's she's taught me so much. We've been uh, together for 20 years, and we've been married 10 years. Wow. Um, and I've learned so much from her, and she's just my rock. Uh, she's my photographer, my rock, my um, there with me, mi representante, uh, times roadie. <laughs> oh, man. She, ¿quién, ¿Quién no ha hecho esa mujer? I feel so blessed. Y Dios me la mandó. Oh. Dios me la mandó. Re realmente, um, we, we met. <laughs> We're getting, going down my Yeah, room. let's do it. We, we met at a restaurant where I used to work at in San Fernando called Siete Mares. And she was a client. <laughs> uh, her family used to go and, and watch the, the mariachi show that we had. And... Um, that table always caught my eye, and she she caught oh. my eye. Um, siempre, you know, you go to the restaurant, you're singing, and then on the break, you make the round, you say hello to everyone, como están, toda la música bien, y Pero todo. Ahí te quedabas un poquito más. Y ahí me quedé, <laughs> en, en ese booth. And um, saludaba a su hermana, su mamá, sus amigas, y llevaba con ella, hola, muchos. Oh. And I was like, oh, okay. That's cool. Nice. So I said hi to everyone. And then I would go on stage, and I would sing, and I would turn, and you know, and we would lock eyes. Oh, and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, maybe this is working. Yeah. So then I I go down and I say hi to everyone, and cómo están y platicando wiri wiri y todo eso, and then I go to hey, y cómo estás tú y bien, <laughs> not giving me the time of day. I was like, oh, oh. challenge accepted. Vamos, <laughs> <laughs> cómo no. <laughs> so then, um. 
they would go every two months, every you know. You waited two months. No, no, yeah. I mean, what? we would. I would work there. Eran una planta, so I would work there, and um, when they would roll up, I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm on game. Finally, so. I, you know, I get the courage to ask her because mm -hmm. all the guys were gonna go to um to play bowling, uh -huh. you know, to bowling night. He said, "Bueno, it's it's a crowd. It's not too intimate." Yeah, you know, le, le voy a invitar. So I go up, "Hola, cómo están?" Y todo eso, and I get to, her, "Hola, cómo estás?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. like nothing, right? Like just cortante. So then, um, as they're walking out, I tell, "Hola, este, disculpa, es que te quería invitar. Si vamos al al boliche, van todos los muchachos y you know, sus novias, and you know, so it won't be." Awkward. So she's like, no, gracias. No. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ella dice, que dice, no, gracias, maybe another time. Uh, that's what she said. I heard no. That's the, and, and it stopped there. And that's that it. it. So I was like, okay, pues yeah. Then she came over and um, I started with a, a group of friends and I was like, oh, okay. That's why. Pero dije, bueno, ya seguimos. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm really talking about this. <laughs> so then, um, finally, uh, I was talking to a buddy, trumpet player, and I'm like, Sabes que there's this girl has has been on my mind all the time. Y no ha venido ya por un tiempo. Este, ya no, ya no han venido. But if I, if she comes in again, I want to get a definite no. Leave me alone. I told you no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, persistent. Para, I was persistent. You know, hasta cachetada que me dé ya para... Para saber que sí. Para saber que, que no. Porque, you know, being, being in, in, in music, you meet a lot of people. I, I think you meet 10 times more people um, sure, than yeah. the general public would, yeah. would meet. So I've, I've always, you know, not always, but in that time I was searching for someone already. You know, I was really... Wanted to find someone. I've met, I've had plenty of friends, and um, you meet a lot of people, and you're like, oh, you know, how they're talking, or su ambiente como que no es el mío. It doesn't, yeah. I, they don't have the same views or uh, conversations, and, and, um, well, it's, que, definitely. Que it's no, important. Yeah, que no, I, I, no quedaba yo bien ahí. <laughs> so, and whenever I would speak with her family, It was like, oh, as if I knew them. Like, Como de familia. De aquí soy. De aquí soy. <laughs> so then I told him, yeah, hopefully, you know, one day when I see her, I just want to get a tough. Y que van entrando. Sopa. When I finished that and I turned, I'm like, she's there. Porque la noche anterior, I was like, Dios mío. <laughs> <laughs> si me vas a mandar algo. Mándame. Hey, yeah. You know, yo, you know I, I accept it with open heart. And, you know, tú sabes cuando yo ya, yeah. yo ya no voy a moverle ahí. Ya voy a trabajar and, yeah. and everything. Y que van entrando, I'm like, whoa, this is cool. <laughs> van entrando, so I play the first show, and then I get off, and I do the same runs. Hola, ¿cómo están? And I get to her, oh, ya hace tiempo con la mamá y la hermana. Y, y hola, ¿cómo están? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Hasn't changed. Hasn't changed. So we're on stage. And finally, um, they sent a, a little paper with songs. Esta canción. We're like, okay. Cantamos las canciones y todo. And I turn and we lock eyes again. What song was it? <laughs> <laughs> I know I know. everybody watching wants to know and everybody here wants Se to know. Se llama Regálame Esta Noche. A ver. <laughs> Regálame la... <laughs> no quiero que te vayas. La noche está muy fría. Abrígame en tus brazos hasta que vuelva el día. Tu almohada está impaciente de acariciar tu cara. Tal vez te dé un consejo. Tal vez no diga nada. Mañana muy temprano platicarás conmigo 
y si estás decidida a abandonar el nido, entonces será en vano tratar de detenerte. Regálame esta noche, retrasame la muerte. Ok, ok, I'll go out. Y bajaba y... Oh. <laughs> bueno, ya me mandan un papelito con las canciones. And then we're playing the songs. Y ya, este... Me mandan otro papelito y volteamos con... A la, a la mesa y está así. Oh. Y está así. Y los demás riéndose. And I'm like, oh, they're making fun of her, right? And I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, What's yo up? bien protegía. Yeah, hey, What's up? Why, why, you know? Why are you making fun of my girl? Like so that? then I, I, yeah. So then I open up the paper and it, it says her name and the number, the phone number. And I'm like, so I turn and she's like this, right? And I'm like, oh, no, it's probably, it looked like a fake number, actually. <laughs> it was like a weird number, like 911. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a different number. And, um, ya me bajo y ya se van and, and gracias por venir and everything and and uh and I have the number and it's like hey my brother's like hey I get home and I have a conversation with my dad and I'm like pa ah qué pasó cómo son las de Jalisco porque ella es de Jalisco es, Venga. está patia no pues my mom is de Jalisco so my dad's like this no, pues va muy bien. ¿Por qué o qué? Porque yo creo que yo ya. Ah. Like, Just like, having her number, I was like, yo creo que yo ya. Like you say. That's it. And, like, and my mom was like, oh, she got that, you know, jealous. Because I've, I've, I've never taken friends over to meet my parents. Pero without them meeting anyone. And yeah. So then, oh, my God, we're taking up too much time right now. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh pass on dia, I don't call. Then I wait the next day and I call. Y contesta su hermana. Hola, este estoy buscando a, you know. Oh, no está aquí mi hermana, se fue, se fue a correr este con mi mamá, se fueron a hacer el, el ejercicio de que, oh, no, she even, you know, ejercicio <laughs> y todo, así, you know, athletic y todo. Pero va va a regresar en la tarde, llama en la tarde. Yeah. So then I'm waiting. I'm like, oh, so it's the right number. <laughs> <laughs> and then I finally call and I hear her voice complete. Hola, como es Like a phrase instead of no y si. I'm like, oh my God, her voice. That's it. Wow. And here we are. And we started talking and we, for three months and finally went out. And when we went out, I told her, hey, I'm not like, this is it. You know, if you want you want to go forth, it's yeah. all or nothing or at all. Lisa. And it's been 20 years. Because el amor, Julian, el amor. El amor, I know. Sorry, you little con el happy dad. No, oh, I know. Shout out happy dad. Shout out death row. Death row. Yes, Sabin. <laughs> okay, man. So everybody has a eh, little understanding of your life, your trajectory of how you got here to death row, how you got your start in singing, what you do outside of singing, and andas en la movida right now. It's going. It's after this podcast. You're in another show. Yeah. You're you're moving. <laughs> We're moving. In how many years have you been singing? All my life, forty one years. All your life. Have you figured out your purpose in life? My purpose in life, wow, is to bring happiness. Mm -hmm. My purpose in life is to bring happiness through music. Is to be, um, to bring, um, que sientan orgullo las nuevas generaciones de su tradición, de las tradiciones de, de su cultura. Mm -hmm. um, 
de su música uh, y traer alegría, traer que, que mi público sienta todas las emociones que tienen que sentir. Yeah. Y no, más alegría. Si tienes que llorar en, en mis canciones, también llora. Yeah. Si quieres este, disfrutar de la vida con, con la música, yeah. disfrútala. O sea, la música, eso es, es una frecuencia. It's a frequency that helps us, you know, uh, deal with a lot. It does. You know, through life. Um, what, what lesson did your mom or dad or both teach you in life? To never give up. Echarle ganas. Yeah. And to go after that dream. Always go after that dream. If you have a dream, I mean... To bring good to this world. Yeah. You know, to dejarlo un poquito mejor de lo que ya estaba. Ya estaba. You know, and um, and if that, I think if, if, if I would have told them, quiero ser un barrendero. Support. Be the best barrendero there. I'd get the best tools to be the yeah. best person, to clean a house. To just be the best at whatever you do. Be the best you. Yes. Creo que I, we had the conversation. We always have it, but. I think one thing about our parents is no matter what you are, what you become in life, just be the best you can be. Be happy. Que nada te, nada te falte. Que tengas todo en la vida y más. Y que puedas superarme a mí. Always. Yeah. Whatever you do, just be better than me. Yeah. And have everything in life. Um, if... I'm going to get you on this one. I already know this. Okay. But I feel like it just needs to be said. What message if you could put it into words or a song would you tell your dad <laughs> what message would i tell my dad mm -hmm. or if there's a song that you sing that every word just goes for him uh, in palabras what would you tell your dad well everything that it was worth it You know, everything, all the love, all the, all the uh, friction that we also had, him and I, um, and everything was worth it. Um, everything he worked towards, everything he put off, everything he, because my, my, see, the thing is, my father wasn't there most of the time. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, he was always working. My mother was there most of the times. And I remember one one instance we were playing a, a game for Little League. And I noticed every everyone's parent was there. Except mine. My mom was there. Um, but my dad wasn't, and at that age, I didn't understand what I know now, and I went up to him, and I was like, pa, ¿por qué no estuviste, o sea, enojado el niño? ¿Por qué no estuviste ahí en mi juego? Todos los papás estaban ahí, y todos estaban ahí cheering their kid, and, yeah. y échale mi hijo, and, and you weren't there. ¿Por qué no estuviste ahí? Knowing what I know now. And he didn't say anything. He's like, oh, disculpa, me hijo. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll do my best. He was working, man, for me. Now, what I know now. Now I understand. And I told them, I'm like, bye, disculpa me de niño. Like, I didn't understand. Um, he was working three jobs to, you know, pay the bills, you know, have food in, on the table and, and just work for his family. Yeah. And as kids, we don't really understand that because you were seeing everyone and, oh, lo que no tenemos. And gracias, lo que tenemos um, and what's missing in our life. But... Thankfully, my mom always 
y you no know, no pues está you no know, está ahí con nosotros like I, I never he was never he was there but for the most most of the time he wasn't there but I never felt that I didn't have a dad if that makes sense um, total sense because I felt his love there all the time Ex you know that day it was just a berrinche yo creo que le dije a mi papá because yeah. I saw everyone else's father there and I'm like why isn't my dad here like it's an yeah. important game and everything and yeah pero siendo trabajador y viendo la necesidad I mean that's what he was going through and and I'm sure he felt I mean if I feel bad about that situation I can't imagine what he was feeling when I was like yeah I want to be there and he's told me he's he has told his his my I have three other siblings I have three younger sisters and he's told me he's like sabes que yo you know I'm I I feel sad sometimes because I wasn't there yeah. and you guys grew up without well más bien you guys grew up and I didn't see it most of it I saw it when I would get home from work yeah I would see it when you know church <laughs> but most of it that I could have been there I wasn't there and I feel bad about it and I tell pa pero nunca nos hiciste falta I know you weren't there and maybe it was just that one little in little situation but for the most part nunca sentí que me hizo falta mi padre nunca yeah and I owe that to him gracias for keeping on the lights thank you for Coming home with a smile. Yeah. Lord knows whatever he was going through or being tired and everything, but just getting home with a smile and leaving with a smile. Man. Yeah. yeah. So it was worth it. I want to tell him gracias for being there, even though as a kid we don't understand, but see, uh, thank you for being there, always being there, and always, you know, we have conversations on the phone all the time. Yeah. You know, I always call him. I call my mom. Siempre, you know, I'm blessed to still be able to give him a call. And and right now, gracias a su esfuerzo, they're, they're you know, close to retirement. And they're in Mexico right now. <laughs> Enjoying their home. <laughs> yeah, of course. Man, um, it's been a great podcast. It's been a great uh, storytelling, Tom. Gracias. Your Your life, your career, your journey, the victories the losses, the moments, and the hard work has been paying off, has paid off, and este 2024 es un año donde hasta más. Claro que sí. Gracias a ustedes. Thank you so much for people like you, Ángeles como tú, and everyone that's been supporting um, it. This victory is, is not only mine, it's everyone's. No, we feel you it. Know, it's, it's, it's your victory because you guys are supporting, you know, La cultura está, you know, you're supporting music, you're supporting a story that has been, you know, going at it forever. And yeah. I feel so blessed to be part of of this journey and to be part of so many historic moments in everyone's life. Mandatory. Yeah, entonces gracias. Thank you so yeah. much for this opportunity. And antes de que los vayamos, what's what's your song? Your favorite. Oh. What's your song that you could kind of close us out that, again, <laughs> this is me being a fan of you. And I know everybody here hearing your voice, the emotion behind it, the heart behind it, knowing where the voice came from and who sings with you when you sing it. It's the world. Bueno, La Fiesta de Mi Pueblo, which is, you know. En el, en una de las canciones que está en el disco de Julián Torres y Marechi Sensontle que se llama La Fiesta de Mi Pueblo habla de mis experiencias en México y de nuestro amor por nuestra música mexicana oh. La Fiesta de Mi Pueblo wow La música aquí me tiene cantando con alegría pues hoy les quiero cantar lo alegre que está mi vida yo he visto muchos paisajes probando muchos manjares Mi canto te ofrezco yo por los cielos y los mares. Ay, 
cuando escucho yo el mariachi hasta el cuero se me enchina sus trompetas y violines guitarrón y su vihuela yo los llevo aquí en el alma hasta el día en que yo me muera y arriba México, vámonos arriba México Gracias Julián Gracias Muchas gracias Gracias a ti ¿eh? Gracias por traernos a, a, a la compound A tu casa, a, a tu nuestra hogar, casita Y poder escuchar un poco de tu historia Poder platicar tu historia Y bendecirnos con escuchar tu bendita voz Muchísimas gracias Thank you so much Luis Gracias este, a Toast to Life And to the life. whole team Gracias por yes. tenernos aquí Thank you. Thank you. Acá el padrino Snoop nos yes, brindó sir. este hogar de, de disfrutar. And um, yeah, go check it out on Death Row Records, La Fiesta de Mi Pueblo. Vámonos, check it out. It's also like podcast, first episode of the year. Yeah. And it couldn't be any better, baby. Let's go. Yeah.